all you awesome humans, it's Kedi, and today we're here for another wonderful episode of Name That Bop. I am loving this series. I hope you guys are too. Make sure you're giving these videos a big thumbs up. Remember, we always have to reach that special number in order to have the giveaway. Um, and make sure you're commenting down below, even if you don't want to participate. It really supports the game and my channel. Um, and so, yeah. So, I thought I gave the easiest clues last time. And um, a lot of you guys got it wrong. <laughs> It made me really sad, but there were nine of you that got it right. So let me just point out that the biggest clue or the biggest giveaway um, was the age of the princess. And a lot of you guys said Cinderella and Pocahontas. And some of you even raised the point that Cinderella and Pocahontas were the same age. But that really should have been a, good, a big indication that maybe you should have dug a little deeper if you were using the internet. Um, but the answer to this is actually Elsa from Frozen. She is 21 years old and there is a cameo of like Mickey Mouse as a little plush and they have previously tried to make Frozen before it was actually made. Uh, originally they were going to try to base it off um, Hans Christian Andersen's The Frost Queen and that was a little dark for Disney and uh, several times after that they, they were going to try again and then Long story short, they eventually came up with the fun-loving snowman that we all know today, we all love to hate, and the wonderful songs that we can't stop singing. So the answer is Elsa from Frozen. The pop I'm actually going to give away is right here. Um, I have it already boxed up, to be honest, because I I've, I've went ahead and tried to pre-box some of these boxes. So I might show you some pictures instead of actually bringing the pop and almost damaging the pop because uh, full disclosure is sometimes I lay something down here like my desk is like this big and then I'll knock it off and I don't want to damage any of the pops that I'm giving away so long long you know what I'm saying words are hard okay so nine people got this right here's the people that got it right and I'm going to ask Google to give me a winner Okay, Google, give me a number between one and nine. All right. Six. Six. Sweet dreams. Congratulations, sweet dreams. You are number six. Good job for getting the right answer. Make sure you message me on the old Instagram. It's catd015. Let me know if you want the um, Elsa as a little girl pop or if you would like a mystery pop um, from me out of my collection. Um, so let's get right into this week's Name That Pop. I'm so excited. Um, so I, I felt really bad that I guess my clues were so difficult. I did reach out to a friend. Um, I gave him the clues that, um, I was going to give and then he changed them all, but for the better. So you should go, everyone thank Franklin F. and McGinnis for helping me with the clues this week. Um, okay. So Mr. Franklin's clues. Number one, his parents were spies. Number two. He was the first teen hero who wasn't a sidekick. Number three, he's former President Obama's favorite superhero. Well, there you go. There is the three clues from Name That Pop. I was so excited. Rules still apply. We have to get to 50 like 50. Oh, one day. 30 likes and 30 comments in order to have the giveaway the following week. Um, please make sure you're sharing this game. I really want tons of people to be able to enjoy. Um, and it's probably one of my favorite things that I do on my channel now. And so make sure that you're liking, commenting, sharing, telling me that you're loving this. I'm loving it. Uh, and yeah, you guys, I'm Kat D. Please give this video a big thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and subscribe down below. Um, yeah, well, wherever the subscribe button is because words are hard. All right, bye guys.